The following is an example of how to multiply radicals um, and then also to simplify them and we use the perfect square method to simplify. So when you multiply radicals, the first thing you do is you always multiply what's outside the radicals. So the 2 times 3 equals 6. And then you multiply what's inside the radical and put them in the radical. So in this case, 24 times 21. To simplify using the perfect squares, we need to actually do that multiplication of 24 times 21. Um, and 24 times 21 is 504. So now we need to simplify 504. Well, if you remember, using the perfect square method, we try to factor out perfect squares. Well, the first one we look at is 4. And 4 does go into 504 126 times. Then we look at 126, we try 4. 4 doesn't go into 126, but 9 does, which is our next perfect square. So we have 4 times 9, and then 9 goes into 126 14 times. Well, 4 and 9 don't go into 14, so you're done um, factoring using the perfect squares. So we break apart the perfect squares. 6 times square root of 4 times square root of 9 times square root of 14. We know the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. So we get 6 times 2 times 3. The square root of 14 stays inside the square root. Multiply the front, you get 36. And the final answer is 36 square root of 14. To do number 2, we do the same thing. Multiply the 5 and the 3. So multiply what's outside the radical first, then what's inside the radical. 14 times 42 is what we need to multiply together. So we're going we're gonna, to uh, look to multiply 14 times 42, which is going to be um, 500 and 88. And now we need to factor that, so we, we try 4 first. And it does turn out that 4 goes into 588. So you have 5 times um, 100 uh, and 47. Now we look at 147. Well, nine, 4 doesn't go into 147. 9 doesn't go into 147. However, the next one, so 2 squared, 3 squared, 5 squared, 25 doesn't. But 49 does, which is 7 squared. So that's our next perfect square. So now we have 4 times 49 times 3. So now 3 obviously can't be factored anymore. So we do square root of 4 times square root of 49 times square root of 3. We know square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 49 is 7, so we can do 15 times 2 times 7, which when you multiply that out, that's going to equal 210, so your final answer is 210 times the square root of 3. So you always